Somebody needs to teach this guy how to make some proper iced tea. <laughs> you motherfucker. Y'all don't even motherfucker. They so good. <laughs> Good evening. Yes, good evening. But okay, on the tea thing, in reality, I can just imagine his tea is probably pretty damn good. I haven't tasted it, of course. But but see, I like talking shit about things that you know uh, that he takes pride in. You know, just for the fuck of it, just to fuck with him. So that's that's what that's about. Lies, these fucking yeah. lies. You know, this goddamn whole. Uh, well, every time we go on the show, it's a whole lot of bullshit with this. No, he's. He, I like him. He's a good guy, and all this other bullshit. It's constant. Torture, otherwise, it would just the camera. It's like fucking working for damn uh, Joe Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Fucking saying motherfucker like that's before. Don't act like a pussy when the goddamn camera comes on. You know it's constant, man. And then he comes on. He's like, you know, Chan Brooks is a good guy. Like, yeah. Anyway, he talks shit behind the scenes, man. He hates my fucking tea, and I sent him some of my tea, and he fucking said it was trash. That was T. I, I, I got a letter from some fucking body. Who knows? Probably some dude in some other fucking place. Anyway. Uh, okay. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Listen, up? y'all. We're gonna uh, anytime during this video. If you got something to fucking say, you got a motherfucking problem, or you want to add to it, or you got, you know, I would like to hear what the fuck y'all think. So make sure y'all comment on whatever the hell yeah. your outlook is on this kind of shit. If it's a whole lot of stuff and you really, really got something on your chest, we'll bring you on here and you can talk your own shit out loud instead of commenting. But in the meantime, say the shit down there and um, share for all your friends to fucking see what you truly yeah. are and what you yeah. truly do support and what you fucking think is funny. Anyways, yeah, that's bitch. awesome. All right, so folks, check this out. Uh, for this this evening, our topic is going to be loosely based around the Olympics. There's a there's a few things that we're going to be addressing that really need some attention. So, uh, um, for example, Gwen Berry. Let's let's just let's just jump off with that, man. I know you I know you had something that you want to throw in. You know, you were saying let's just save it for the show because we we talk a lot, of, you know, before the show about things. And sometimes we have to cut one another off, like, no, no, save it for the show. So I know you had some shit to put on that, so I'm going to let Mr. Brooks kick that off. Her. Well, you know, first of all, she thinks she all that because her father is a serial. <laughs> so it's like the whole spoiled brat shit. Anyway. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> look, you know, it's real simple. Like, that shit, you know... I want to stretch it out because we don't want to be, you know, at no dead space on our show. No, no, no. But, you know, the thing, ultimately, it's the simple fact is um, in America, you had a right to be a fucking douche or whatever you want. As long as you're not fucking breaking yeah. a, a fucking law or whatever, it's fine. And you, to me, it's like you can, you, you know, you actually do have the right to dislike your country. Mm. It's a shitty thing to do. And it's a super like... I don't know if an oxymoron is the right thing, but it's definitely a fucking dumbass thing. I don't, I don't get it. Like, I understand, like, you know, there's a lot of countries out there. Pay attention. There's one down south that's really going through it. And, uh, but like, all these other countries are really fucked up. And, but you have the nerve to, to hate this motherfucker. And all those other places would give half of their fucking toes just to fucking even come over here for a year, just to get a fucking break from hell. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Anyway, uh, you don't want to go that far off of that shit. But like sh this whole fucking that's right. It's fine. If you want to hate the fucking America and all that bullshit, fine, fine, asshole. But you do not going to, you know, I, I should say you don't get to because apparently you do. But I am not OK with somebody who is going around the world, literally, and, and meeting with people from every other country who come out there and are proud of their country, even though it has its flaws, even though it has bad fucking people that run it. And some that try to run it right, and all the same things that we got, just different levels. And they come out there and represent that shit. And you got some fucking nerve to use the country as a, you know, a way to get there. And what do you, I mean, you know, what I'm saying now you are fucking famous for the wrong reason because 
fuck you, man. Like, how the fuck are you going to say I represent America, but fuck that place? Like, it's just, it just adds to the stereotype of fucking America's, ha- you know, the people have all over the world. They think that's how we are. There are countries, and we all know this, that you can, you can look up, there's a whole nice list of countries where if Bomb you talk sweet bad, tea. shit. I thought you sent me like a fucking bottle of fucking pine salt. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's what we're around here. Oh, well, that, that's that. Uh, anyways, there's uh, there's countries all around the world where if you talk shit about the government, about the president, about the politicians, if you disrespect symbols uh, that represent you know those countries, you can be fined imprisoned murdered <laughs> and that's just how they do things so to have the freedom in the united states to be able to disrespect the very country that gives you the freedom to disrespect it i i just can't even understand that i can't even understand that i Try that shit in China. Try going to China. You know, yeah, I mean, any them. fucking where. It, it should be, like, honestly, you know, I don't want to just kind of sound like the echo I've been hearing, but real shit, man, she shouldn't be able to fucking do it. And you shouldn't get your fucking damn medal, and you should be taken out of there. I mean, I don't give a fuck what you, what you like or don't like. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a bigger... It's the next level of a fucking Kaepernick type of situation, and it's fucking whack. You know, it was whack then, and it's fucking whack now. I don't give a fuck what your thoughts are. You know what I'm saying? Do your fucking job. You went there to goddamn win for your country, and the fact that you went in front of the whole motherfucking planet and was like, fuck my country that I'm here to represent. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking dumb. Like, how dare you? Why are you using them then? Because you can't go there and say, I'm independent. I'm just here. Rep- what do you represent? Motherfucking Southside, motherfucker, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like me, uh, Brooks. I'm here to represent me, myself, and I. I don't speak for nary motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. I mean, it's America. And man, I'd be like, fuck, dude. I'd be in tears at the thought of even being able to go there. Like, you fucking right. bitch. Fuck you, bitch. You know, the, the, the very fact that she, okay, she obviously grew up with you know the desire to compete and she was given opportunities to compete she was given opportunities to hone her skills to perfect her skills and 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 train and train and train she had support she had sponsors she had you know so much backing that she was able to make it to a global competition and to represent the country that gave her all those opportunities, gave her all that backing, gave her all that support, gave her, you know, the, the sponsors and everything else, you know, the, to, to, to represent the country and then turn your back on it. What a douche. Look, yeah, you and know? I mean, you know what? Fuck the bitch. I don't even want to give her no more fucking damn play. But listen, um, I want to talk about another portion. That's That's kind of... It's a, it's the same thing, but I want to I want to get to your segment first, and then come back and talk about another portion of the uh, of our topic. It's still related, so I want to still wanna get the Olympic shit. Yeah, yeah. So I want to I want to put your shit out there first, and then then we'll bring up the other topic or the other the other the next portion of our topic, a subtopic of the original topic, which will be related to the first topic, but uh, technically the second topic, in that it is the same topic but a new section of that you know almost like a like here's the appendix and the glossary and then like there's the next part is that's where we're going to be at after this is like the glossary part <laughs> i followed uh, i followed that i i got you got you yeah. okay yeah. all that beautiful bean footage beans what's up everybody it's your boy Don Graham, and uh yeah you know what I'm here for. Um, I just get so damn frustrated. So many things in this world irritate the living crap out of me. I mean, at any given moment, I can see something that just, you know, 
sets me off. Because I'm, I'm one of those people that, that believes there's a certain way that things should be, you know, especially when it comes to, like, you know, fairness, equality, justice, you know, like, um, I did, one thing that, that I've been seeing lately more of, I mean, it's something that we, we see all the time, you know, uh, is people thinking that they can get away with uh, breaking rules, breaking laws, and, and you know, make excuses and, and pretend like they're above all that, like they're, like they shouldn't be uh, subjected to the same laws and, and rules, regulations, and policies and practices as everybody else. Like they think they're just above it, they're too good for that, like they have some sort of magical fucking gene in their DNA that just makes them just, just you know, on, on a higher fucking pedigree, a higher level than the rest of us. And, I mean, we see a lot in, you know, in daily life, you know, you see that kind of shit at work, you see it, you know, um, in school, you see it, I mean, shit, you go to the grocery store and see this shit. Um, you know, now we're, we're seeing it in the, in the Olympics, oh, it's fucking wonderful. We see it in politics all the fucking time. And it just really irritates the living shit. I mean, I don't know what the fuck these people are thinking, like, you know, what makes you so goddamn special? that you don't have to face the same fucking repercussions, um, the same punishments as everybody else. You know, you're, you're cut from a different cloth, you're cut from a finer cloth than the rest of us. A finer cloth, that must be you. You fucking dipshits. See, that it just makes me sick just thinking about the way, way that people act and behave. You know, it's like, uh, there's standards for a fucking reason to keep order. And when you put yourself, you know, above all that, you are a problem. You're a fucking problem. Because as, as soon as one person gets away with that shit, everybody else wants to get, yeah, wants to get away with it too. So that's why we have these fucking rules, regulations, and standards. <sighs> fucking dumbasses. Anyways, if you're one of those cut from a finer cloth kind of people, fuck you. You know, I could live with it like, um, people that just say, you know, I'm, I'm fucking. I'm breaking the rules. I'm gonna break the rules, and if you don't like me breaking the rules, fuck you. You, you go and fucking tell on me. I'll kick your ass or whatever. I can live with that more than somebody that's like the rules don't apply to me. You right. need to if you're gonna break the rules, fine. Just understand that you're breaking rules that are made for your punk ass too. Don't you don't just be like, well, because I'm this or that or all these other shits you try to sprinkle across the top. It, it doesn't make a fuck because when the law or the fucking rule or the damn you know. Thing. regulation policy yeah, or whatever there you go yeah. all that big word shit motherfucker i don't know those goddamn mm -hmm. words but like you know the lesson you get taught is uh that you do not do things that you don't pull to do so no but like just be honest and be like man fuck your law okay fine i can i can respect that fuck you're just saying you don't give a fuck gotcha gotcha right i know i understand i'm i could get in trouble i don't give a fuck okay cool but if you're like <laughs> they're not gonna i'm different um, that, that reminds me of uh, um, what was that movie? Uh, was it a few good men with Jack Nicholson and Tom Cruise? You know, Jack Nicholson's like a, a crime. I'm being charged with a crime. Like, like he just thought he was so far above the law. You know, like a crime. <laughs> yeah, like I can't believe y'all see this as a crime. Like that's what that kind of boils down to. And it's just. But that's how it goes, you, you know, and I haven't even really seen the movie enough to be, you know, I'm not saying that this is what they meant. But I mean, like in general, it's like motherfuckers on that level, they don't realize that what they're doing is wrong. It's almost like a fucking sickness for some of these weirdos. But um, speaking of, you did mention the Olympics briefly in there. And uh, that's uh, that's it's another thing that's been going on is this whole fucking marijuana shit. Look, it sucks. I'm not against marijuana. I'm a huge advocate for the shit for all kind of good reasons. Millions of different reasons. I think it's good. Uh, as, long as, it stays, as long as it stays in our hands. But <clears throat> if you go any fucking where and they say you cannot do this if you do this and you do this, don't fucking expect to do this. And you don't get to fucking rearrange shit or rewrite that. It's just what the fuck it is. Sorry. You should have you know, probably just said, fuck it, my, my, my wonderful dream of whatever the fuck she does is almost about to come true. That's so motherfucking awesome, man. I hope they don't drug, they drug test or what? Yes? Fuck. Yeah, they do. Fuck, they're going to drug test me? Oh, yes, hell no. I guess I got to finish this last blood and then quit. I'm like, no, the drug test is tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Your fucking dreams aren't that important, man. I mean, I, I, I it sucks. There's a lot it's of people that are out there that are trying to push this. Well, well, it's not a, a performance enhancing drug. So fucking what? It, it's so a fucking, rule. That's not the point. That's rule. not the point. Yeah. You know, okay. Check this out. There, like we were talking about earlier with you know um, other countries. Th this this is a global standard that we have to follow. There are other countries out there where 
you know, possession of certain amounts of marijuana will still get you killed. You're punishable by death by their fucking laws in, in, in a lot of countries. I was looking it up earlier. A lot of it is is a uh, is based on larger amounts, you know, uh, for what they would suspect is trafficking, but not all of them. But the the, the thing is still that they don't allow it. And we are in a position where we're competing with them. So there has to be a global standard. You know, and when it comes to standard like that, you can't just convince the entire world, well, you have to accept that they, we're doing this. No, it's, it's either everybody does, uh, everybody gets together and allows it, or everybody gets together and bans it. And in this situation, it's, it's one of those things where everybody had to just agree that it can't be done. You can't allow it. You know, that there's, it would be a complete slap in the face if we were to say, no, fuck that. We're going to do our own thing and we're going to, you know, let people do whatever the fuck they want when they represent us and fuck with you the, can't the, open the gate, man. You can't open the gate. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't even be opposed, you know, if they, um, if they weren't allowed to like, you know, get fucking drunk and shit while they're out there in, in Tokyo. Like I don't, that, you know, that's a whole different ball game because it's legal or whatever. And that kind of pisses me off because weed is nowhere near. It's not really bad for you at all. In my opinion, but alcohol definitely is, and cigarettes definitely are, and they're legal all around the fucking world. You know, not every place, but, you know, all different places around the world. And it's like, anyway, but, you know, it's like, I, I don't think that when you're representing your country and you're in another country, and I mean, it's like, that is, for me, like I said, I mean, that shit, I can, like, feel like, God, that must be awesome, dude. Like, you're there with fucking people from all over the world that do what you do, and, like, and you, you're the fucking, hopefully, the best at it, and oftentimes you are, and, like, why the fuck are you, you know, and you would want to celebrate and party down, but if they say you can't fucking wear goddamn green and you, if you do, you can't compete, I guess your ass better not be wearing no fucking green either. All I'm right. sorry. What do you want me to fucking do? I don't think you should. I think that you can't have the fucking gate open. You can't, you can't crack the gate. It's that way for everything. Cause it's like, okay, well, yeah, but man, I snort a little Coke. What's the fucking problem? You let the bitch smoke weed. And then he's like, well, damn, I only shoot up on a Saturday. Right. What am I gonna fucking do? Right. And that's that's exactly what I was talking about. You know, earlier you get one, you let one person get away with something, and next thing you know, everybody else wants to get away with the same shit. And then that's when you lose your standards. That there, there's no, there's no longer a that's standard. That's not the standard thing to do. No, that's not the standard. No. Anyways, um, don't explain it. Fucking I'm not gonna it. explain it. Y'all can yeah. Google what the standard is. They'll be all night. Like, I mean, the standard oh. what though, man? It's such a weird fucking riddle. That's the standard. Anyways, Mr. Motherfucking Brizooks, you want to get your uh, your thingamajobber up on here now? Yeah, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I hope I don't fucking piss everybody off. I might. Who gives a fuck? I do, but I don't. I mostly don't. It's like 90, 10. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. What up, it's Mr. Brooks? Um, yeah, listen, uh, I know we, we, we kind of been going on about the Olympics and different things like that, but uh, not that it's uh, completely related, but not that it's not either, because, uh, you know, it's, it's not a new thing, but like this whole uh, transgender shit where you, you got uh, a fucking dude that competes against women and you got some, uh, you know, this... This college allowed a, a guy that identifies as a bitch, but lives like a man, but dresses like a woman, but, you know, cut his dick off, but he still got a fucking beard, like, you know, all that circus shit, like, look, you're a man, okay? For all intents and purposes, when it comes to fucking fighting and wrestling, and really all sports, you're a fucking man. Now, I understand that there are women that will stomp my ass in any physical fucking competition, whether it be boxing, fighting, wrestling, basketball, football, hockey, ping pong, javelin, um, you know, soccer, bowling, fucking shooting range, whatever it is. There's women that will destroy me in that shit. Fine. I don't care. But overall, in general, men are typically stronger than women. It's your fucking everything from your muscles to your bones are different. Your forehead is different. Your fucking jawbone is different. So when a woman punches you in the face, it's why you see all these fucking videos and uh, movies in, in real life and in, in, in uh, you know, in, in Hollywood where you see some woman get mad 
her husband did something wrong. She slaps him. She punches him. Look, I've been punched by a woman in an argument before, and I go, fucking bitch, and I walk away. But let me tell you something. You also rarely ever do you see a woman get punched, and she don't hit the fucking dirt. Or she don't goddamn, you know, get her whole shit shattered or busted or nose broke or eye black. You know, I had a woman that, that hit me in the mouth one time and, and busted my lip, and it was just a joke. It was just an accident. And my lip bled a little bit, but hell, I mean, that's a fucking fist coming at you. But if a same, you know, if a guy hit me in the same place, man, I might have to get stitches. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's, in general, it's not cool. There's two fucking genders. There's men and there's women. It's so ridiculous because you even see, like, you go on eBay or whatever, and you buy one of these T-shirts that say, We're, there's hundreds of genders. And you could get this shirt. If you want men or women, circle here. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're at, you're telling me that there's more than one gender, but you only sell the shirt for two genders. So are you, is eBay um, discriminating against, you know, people that have a, a no dick and a beard? Or uh, you got, you know, you cut your titties off, but you still wear makeup? Like, what about those people, eBay? So you're telling me that there's hundreds of genders, but you're only going to sell it to two of them? So... Either you're full of shit or you're discriminating against all the other genders. Which is it? Um, you know, kiss an ass bitch in the behind sometimes, you know, because basically that's what you're doing. You're kissing ass by selling the shirt. I understand it's not eBay, everybody, before you attack me on that. I understand it's individuals. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, eBay, you go to, uh, let's just say fine, you go to Tommy's fucking boutique and he sells a shirt and it's in the men's section and the women's section. So where is the fucking dickless men's section? Where is the fucking damn butch girl section? There's not. There's two sections in the store. That's because there's two genders. So if you have two genders, perhaps you should uh, understand that when it comes to sports. We don't have to appease these motherfuckers. If you identify as a woman, fine. That only works for in the public. That doesn't mean you get to take a piss next to my daughter, and that doesn't mean you get to go beat up girls and win a fucking championship, because of course you did. The one-time wrestler, he got in there and got with the woman and cracked her fucking skull. He should be arrested and put in jail with the other men where he fucking belongs for beating on women and cracking her fucking head, bitch. Peace, mother... Oh, Jesus uh, I, got, uh, I got something to, uh, to share real quick um, based on what you were saying in there. Uh, I had an ex who was... Uh, very physical. She she played uh, she oh. played basketball. She lived, you know she worked out like like a beast on a regular basis. She <laughs> she trained to box, you know, oh, and she was you know she could throw. She you know she was very strong. She was very quick, and she was she she had good hands. Well, as most females do, um, she went off flew off the handle about something that. I didn't have anything to what? fucking do with, you know. <laughs> and hold she on, wait a minute. Up. Now she she flew off the handle. You're saying the female did this? I know it's so unlike female. Yeah, that's strange as a motherfucker. Anyway, know, I'm sorry. Then that was like that fucking hit me like a damn shotgun with that crazy yeah. sound. I thought you were lying at first. It's like a unicorn or a fucking. No, no, she really lost her temper. Wow, that's amazing, I man. I know. Damn, like did you pick the wrong one? <laughs> right. <laughs> I know now. Out of but, all them good ones out there, yeah. yeah. So she actually took it out her her like um, irate delusions out on me, <laughs> her raging fucking you know bullshit out on me, and just she took flight. I'm talking like just one after another, left right left right combos and whatever, hitting me all on my torso. Granted, she you know she clipped me in the chin a couple times. But she didn't go for the smush. That's a good thing. Otherwise, I've been really pissed off. But I stood there. I stood there the whole time she's doing this shit. And she's just like uh, laying, bam, bam, bam. And when she was done, I I was I was I was pretty pissed. I was pretty pissed because you know this this uh, the, the this person is like literally just trying to destroy me. And I I, I looked at her and I asked, "Are you done?" And it hit her real, like like oh my god, <laughs> like first of all she realized I just lost my fucking shit for you know for a really stupid fucking reason, and second she realized, wow I just gave everything I had to trying to fucking demolish this motherfucker and 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 I, now I'm afraid and she got that really fearful look on her face like she thought I was gonna hit her back, 
And I, of course, I didn't. You know, Fuck I'm a man. Shit. You should have. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, okay. Well, what I did was I jumped up on the dresser and just came down with the pow, you know. But like no, I'm serious, you know? but but if but think about it, that right there, knowing that she was as physical as she was, the training that she had. I mean, granted, she was no professional or anything, but you know, she still had training, and she was she was effective. And you know, but if I would have hit her back one time, she'd have been in the hospital, guaranteed. So one just one time, and that's that's uh, one of the experiences I have personally that make me look at the the difference between a man and a woman when it comes to competition like that. Because you like like just like you said in the video, you know, like we've discussed many times off the show, you know, there's there is a physical difference. Or I'm sorry, many physical differences between you know a man and a woman when it comes to skeletal structure musculature you know the size of the heart the lung capacity you know just broadness now those fucking things don't arm muscles when they're coming at you is way more vicious bitch y'all don't want to fuck around with me i'm just saying man you bring y'all little girly asses on man i'll put my little arm floats on my forearms and just be like bouncing y'all around like, it'd be fun <laughs> come on we'll get like a sprinkler and shit well, you, you know, even people that say, well, if you take enough estrogen, it, you know, you lose muscle mass and, and, be, and it becomes more of, you know, more of a feminine, you know, um, build musculature. No, because your bone structure will not allow for that. Your bone, your bones are as a man are, are more dense. And this, the, the, the way that you're just stronger, your muscles cannot just you know, go from being these, you know, big hulking things down to, oh my God, little muscles. No, it's, it just doesn't work that way. You know, you might lose mass, but you're not going to lose complete male physical strength. Well, people have to look at, the, I mean, the, you know, if you don't see the damn difference right there already <laughs> in the two different genders, then just understand that when, when, when a woman tells a story about when she fought a man, or got, I shouldn't say that when, like, when she got hit by a man or she got beat up by a man, it might involve a lot of hand holding, tissues, crying, stress, a lot of fucking therapy, maybe. And uh, hospital bills, yeah. And then, but when you fucking when it's a man, they're like they'll tell you the story, and then the, the guys are like, <laughs> bitches be feisty, bro. Hey, uh, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, these bitches, man, you got your lip. <laughs> <That's fucking, laughs> she, 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 you got you a gangster bitch. But I tell you, these bitches crazy out here, man. Just because it's not, it's like, all right, geez, that's a fucking enough. Stop. Like when a kid fucking like plays wrestles with you, it's almost like just stop. You like, pick them up. Like, would you please fucking quit? God damn, you fucking maniac. Stop. Yeah, and, and then, then you're you like, you know, I said, stop. God damn it. Don't make me give you fucking shaking whatever baby shit thing. <laughs> shaking baby shit. <laughs> and you yeah, I'm sorry. For, you you know, I'm sorry. Your hand on their forehead to hold them back and they're swinging and shit. You know? <laughs> fucking Three Stooges or damn Daffy Duck or some shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> they will jump on you like a fucking backpack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn man, and you just like you just—they get so mad when you just grab them and throw them over your shoulder. They, I'm, why do they get so mad at that? Like a fucking Velcro, God. And they write it back no. up your arm like a fucking kitten, you know? Like, God damn it, man! And now I got—I <laughs> got to go to work. I'm sweaty. That's stinging. You didn't scratch my fucking arm, and it's stinging like a motherfucker because you're making me sweat from fighting you off. Now I got to go to work and be like, my cat got me because I don't want to. I'm embarrassed to tell them a bitch fucking claw my arm. They gonna call me a bitch. But if she goes to work and has a bruise on her arm, the guy she works with that wants to fuck her is going to come fucking beat me up. See the difference? That's the damn difference. So it's not fair that, like, you know, I shouldn't say it's not fair because it's not cool either way. So it's like, you can't fucking just beat on fucking women. So under the guise of sports, that's what's happening. I don't care what you fucking identify as, as we've already pointed out. When it comes to that particular situation, you can't change it. If you do, then you're not even a that, fucking human being anymore. That's one of those situations where there is a double standard, but it's actually logical because you know the the, the standard for um, okay, a woman hitting a man, man hitting a woman. You know that there is a double standard there, and it's logical for a reason. There's a legitimate, logical fucking reason behind that you know what i'm saying so so they think it's like they, they think that this shit is like fucking we can do anything a man can do and it's like that's not what it's about this is for your own benefit when these little fucking women want to join the fucking nfl one day 
you're fucking talking about, I mean, first season um, paraplegics and shit. You know what I'm saying? Quadriplegics and fucking, you know, losing amputee type shit if you fucking get in there. Or you're going to expect them to lighten there and it's going to become tag football. And it's like, see, just stay the fuck over there. Why can't y'all just go do the lingerie shit? Like we fucking, you know, we like that. You did that for like fucking three weeks and then that shit fell off. I'm just kidding. I thought that shit was stupid. I didn't watch that shit. But like, I'm okay with women doing everything we do as far as sports go in a separate situation. And I mean, like maybe volleyball, but even that, man, if a dude spikes a ball in a woman's face, it's going to fucking probably crack her fucking nose. Where it might not a guys because everything is different like that. It's like damn, I mean, it's, not, it's, it's yeah. just Anybody like you're better than us. You're more fragile and beautiful and all that good stuff better than us. But when it comes to the goddamn bows, man, I'm telling you, you, don't want it. Anybody who watched the Brady Bunch back in the day, you know, saw Marsha's nose just. <clears throat> yeah, nobody's ever. That's never happened to Peter. Bobby even if fucking, even uh, if it did, it, it, any one of them would have just like <clears throat> pass me the rock. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> that hurt an awful lot, man. All right. <laughs> of course, no. it's a car, but my name's not Jack. It's Greg. <laughs> oh my god, You're, you you went there. <laughs> that is the greatest oh, fucking man. line in any movie of all time. It should be the you know. Uh, oh my god. Okay, maybe it's not the best. Movie. No, it's in my no. top three hundred and eighty, probably. Uh, yeah, somewhere in there. Oh my God! All right. Well, look, I, I think we've we've covered this uh, pretty well. You know, I just want to throw a disclaimer out there to anybody anybody watching this. We don't have anything against the marijuana shit. We don't have anything against free speech. You know, say what you do. Say what you're gonna say. Hate what you're gonna hate. You know that that's that's America. That's you know that that's that's your right because you're here and you're an American. And we don't have anything against transgenders. We only have problems with things that any one of those people do that are unfairly, unfairly affecting others or inappropriately representing something like that. That's all. Other than that, do your fucking thing. Yeah. Other than that, chop it, chop it, chop it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But you, you, you know, your goddamn big giant fucking anvil fist is, you know, half the size of some girl's head, so you know, you gotta draw the fucking line. You can't be down like you can't have boxing, you know, now it's like, well, wrestling is bad enough. Really any of it, it's not fair. I mean like I said, javelin throwing, I don't give a fuck. Like it's you're gonna throw it a little further probably. Let, let, let me let me point this out as well. Um when you look at the news, when you look at uh, uh, any reports of uh, domestic violence. If you look, if you see a case where a guy was beat up by a chick, he's still sitting there with a smirk, like, "Yeah, she whipped my ass." <laughs> and he eyes all so, uh, up or something. But if you see the her titty know, brushed up against my face when she had me in the goddamn headlock, but. right? <laughs> but <laughs> but if you look I'm at gonna... it when it's the other way around, and it's the woman that I got that, that that was assaulted. I mean, normally her face is swollen up twice its normal size. You know, her, her she's literally looking at her other eye with the, you know, with this one over, you know, it's the it, of it, so just, you know, and the, the nose is all just completely like swole, fucking flattened out, just beat to shit, scars, bruises, cuts. And and now she has she's going through therapy and 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 every damn thing else she's got a restraining order and that's that's the difference. I mean you don't well hey that's what the fuck she gets for stopping asking for directions, right? Should know your way around. Didn't they say be aware of your surroundings? I thought she left the refrigerator door open. My bad. I'm just kidding. That's horrible. But that um, is horrible. That is horrible. Yeah, it's fucked up, and uh, that's that's a terrible thing to do to somebody and. Uh, but that's what it would happen if you fucking fight a guy. Duh. Okay, that's potentially what could happen. Like, you know, and I hate to keep harping on it, but like the other way around, like if the a woman would seriously have to like get tired of stomping on your fucking head before you would look the same. So you just jumping up and down on your forehead like, you motherfucker, and you're just like, stop. <sighs> Every now and then you fucking smack her feet so she falls down beside your head. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you see fucking bitch? Like just kicking your ear and you got like kind of deaf for a minute, like boo just on one side. Like. <laughs> right. But uh yeah, that's it. Fuck yeah. Stop fucking whining and bitching, man. Smoke weed all you want to, but if the rules say you can't, you fucking can't. If you don't represent your country right, don't fucking go, bitch. Um, I am hating on her. Fuck that bitch. You can have free speech about everything else, but you can't do it in the Olympics. Go to hell. Yeah. Not in Olympics, go to hell. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna be happy with it anyway, because uh it's just just don't because America is not bad peoples. It's good peoples. Mm-hmm. I represented by her. assholes as she proved. Yeah, yeah. All right. <sighs> Well, that's it for me. For me, I'm finished. You, I don't know. Thank, thank you very much, motherfuckers, for motherfucking watching this motherfucking shit. Nah. Um, we appreciate you. And once again, like we said in the beginning, leave us some comments. Tell us what your you know, your perspective on the shit is. Um, let us know if there's anybody out there who wants to get on on here and and chop it up with us about these topics. Uh, subscribe. You know, hit the like button. Hit the notification. Shit. Share. 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 Share the shit. Thank you very much. Bye.